All right, guys, welcome back to Into the Breach. Uh, so we successfully rage quitted the other one, so uh, that's pretty much it for that. Um, have five mech armor, have me uh, a mech armor absorb five damage in a single battle. Have four enemies die from an en a fire, and then we can push three enemies with a single attack. Okay, that's kind of cool. So what do we have here? Um, grab a unit and toss it behind you. Well, we've seen that before. Uh, I've had that as an ability. There's this guy that pushes other guys around. Gravity well put so I think I've seen this on something else. It was one of the other ones I did. That one's nice Enemies do damage against other uh, plus one damage against other enemies, so I'm supposed to position them to harm uh, Themselves which is kind of interesting All right, is there any like surprises like oh here we go armored so oh you do see it here. I see, okay, so I, I never noticed this before, but that's actually a place where you can actually see when they're armored. Um, alright, alright, so that's kind of neat. So, I'm going to give this a try. We can do that. Alright, I apologize profusely, and we're going to start from the other island just because you guys saw me do the first island last time. So, alright, let's not do the high threat one, let's do something else like this one. Destroy the acid vats, alright. So, we're supposed to... I guess the rocket guy can go there and that this other oh, science guy can go here. Alright. So we're supposed to trick them into attacking each other. Which is something I've kind of maybe struggled with at times, but yeah. Uh, huh. So, what, so what's this one? Pull a target towards you. Oh, you can pull any target, anywhere. Interesting. What order is this happening? Okay, he goes first. I would have liked to push him that way, but it doesn't look like we get to really do that. Uh, maybe this guy can, if he was able to move at all. And the judo mech. Fortunately, I can only pull this guy over to attack myself. That's good times. But that may not be so... Actually, he's armored anyways. Who cares? This guy doesn't care. That's who doesn't care. So pull this guy towards us so the web no longer affects us. It looks like I can't really do much else with this, so... It actually sucks. <laughs> okay. Actually, I'm going to move. Let me do something like right here. Am I supposed to destroy the acid vats? I am. Oh, whoops. You guys can see shit. I didn't even realize there were, it was gonna hurt, harm the other building. I thought I would actually just kill it, honestly. Uh, whatever. Alright. I mean, the actually very simple thing here to do would be to push him onto the that tile, and then it would melt the acid on it. I mean, he's gonna be armored, so he's not gonna take damage anyways. Wait, what? Oh, okay, there we go. That's all I was wondering about. Alright. So, this one seems pretty simple. We just do something like that. That hurt, hurts two of them. Uh, if we could also bring this guy over here without, like, having this guy fucking be here, that would have been nice, but... Actually, we can do that. That did not count as the achievement. Alright. Into the... Wait, you're not allowed to do that? <laughs> I was gonna say, I wanted to fucking bring them into the vats. Alright, so... This is waterlogged. Even though that's that's really not water. Uh, let's see here. I think I should just uh, prevent him from going up here. Seems like a good idea. Actually, I don't even need to absorb damage at all. Can't think of anything better to do with them. Might as well just, you know. I know he has more health now. Alright. Let's see. Uh, let's go pull him over. 
Well, I can't really do much with regards to a lot of things here. Ah, oh, that's pretty good. All right, I'm thinking we go over here. And this guy comes over here and I pull one over. Oh, there you go, that's pretty good. You have to destroy the acid vat now. Uh, oops, let's uh, check out over here. All right, you did it. Get over here. There you are. Uh, why don't you come a little closer? Oh, fucker. Easy. At least these guys make a little bit more sense. <laughs> I, I struggle with the last one so much, though. Uh, leap to a tile, damaging self and adjacent tiles. It's pretty good. But he's already armored, so he doesn't take damage. So that's very, very nice, actually. But we're just going to power that guy up. Immediately. All right, I think I understand these guys enough that we can definitely do this. All right, let's not do another train defense one because we're still triggered from it from the last one. So let's just at least put it off for one time. All right, we need to kill at least seven enemies. So we will have to do quite uh, the job with this. Who here has enough damage for this? I don't think anybody does really. Well, at least there's some water here, so it's fairly easy for me to judo them. Alright. What order do they go in? Okay, he goes first, he's gonna kill that guy. Easy peasy. Um, I'm just kinda curious, if I do this, they're, they're gonna hurt each other. Alright. So I can't actually do anything about this guy right now. And that's gonna hurt my building there, unfortunately. Just one damage, though. I wish this guy had one more movement tile, but we're still early on in the game, so we can't really do that. Now, I didn't really want to do this either, because this, um, this prevents him from killing that, so that's not a good idea either. So, what options do we have to get rid of him? I don't think we have a lot of options to actually get rid of this guy. Because all I can think of doing is this, which is pretty good actually. Works for me. I think I just kill each other, so... And this is the name of the game with these guys. Action available. Well, there's not much I want to do here. Alright. Oh, you're an asshole. You too are an asshole. Alright. I mean, simplest thing for me to do is just kill both of them like this. And I can just fist him over. Once again, he this guy just kind of does one damage, so... Really nothing I can do with this guy, though. Alright. Now this is interesting. So here's what we can do. We can push these two both back. One of them is going to block one of the holes. And I would have liked to be able to push that guy over. Except I'm going to damage everything there. As nice as that is, this also damages the uh, other buildings. So let's just fucking toss them onto that, I guess. Uh, do we need to bring... Oh, no, we did kill all these seven, so we're good. Alright, you can just heal yourself. Good shit. Alright, well, all we have to do is really deal with this guy. Alright. 
because uh, we can't really do that, can we? <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? Fuck you. There you go. Good times. Alright. Kill at least seven. Alright, well, might as well defend the train, but I, I I have more faith in this than I did the other one, honestly. Uh, but I really want to get movement on, on some of these guys. Alright. Alright, alright. So, we can definitely rock at something in here, but that would also cause him some damage, so we can definitely use something like this, except that also damages that guy. Yeah, the thing is it that pushes everything back, so that's also not very good. Um, grab well, we can move that closer to ourselves. Just don't know how to deal with this guy. Remember, I, I, I am trying to move them around. I mean, this this could be the easiest way of just dealing with the one. And we pull this guy somewhere. Or pull... no. Because I don't want him to be here, right? So we need to get, also get rid of this guy somehow. And he's attacking right here, so we'd have to pull him towards us. So it's either a matter of, do we get this guy to push him away, like such, like such. Which means we'd have to get rid of this guy first, obviously, but... But unfortunately, pushing him down here doesn't mean much, because it just makes him do that. What's the order? How much damage? Three. Okay, so... If we can get him to be able to pull this guy back one tile, it would work, but... I think even then it won't really work. Ah. Uh, it's a tough one. I mean... Part of me thinks I should just pull this guy back and then deal with the rest of them my own way. As I said, I, I am supposed to make them attack each other. But I don't really see a great way of doing this. I would like to push this guy back. Because if I push this guy back, this guy's stomp will hurt this guy too. So... But... I actually can't do that. It just occurred to me, because this guy's... We have to move this guy too. Because I was thinking to myself, alright. I was thinking, use the ruck guy to move that, then jump this guy over. But this guy's not going to be dead. Because this guy doesn't do any damage when he does his little grab wall attack. And also, pushing him back wouldn't necessarily prevent him from killing everything anyways. <laughs> alright. Let's just go with the safer option, I would say, which is we're going to pull this guy towards me to uh, eat the damage, uh, which means we just need to deal with this guy somehow, um, which I actually don't have a good... Uh, like, okay, let's just focus on this guy right now. How do we get rid of him? Uh, I don't know. Can I, do, can I pull this guy? No, I can't. Maybe I can pull him right here. Alright, you know what? That seems okay. Because it means I can... Uh, I can definitely pull him over here to hurt myself. That's fine. I prefer he hurts me than himself. This is a bit of a weird one. I'm not going to lie. Actually, wait, I can pull this guy over here. But how am I going to deal with this one, then? What options do I have? Not many, actually. Because I, I think this is the only guy that can pull him over. That's a thing. To prevent him from dealing damage. Because, unfortunately, nobody does more than one damage. Um, man, oh man. Some tough calls that I have to make. Okay, I think I have it here. I think th I think this is the only play I really do. 
but like I've been I've been told before, I've been given like exact time codes and indexes. Now remember, I am supposed to make force them to attack each other. What does this guy do? It's just a heal at the beginning of the turn, yeah. Alright, let's have a look here. So what if I do this? He's not gonna hurt anything here. I can't really do anything with that. Hmm. Now I have enough guys here that I can definitely do things like I like I just I don't see the I don't see myself having the ability to make them harm each other. I just I don't see that. He's just gonna kill himself. Yeah, but he's gonna kill himself again. Why is the train like the worst thing in the universe? All right. I think I have it. We're gonna pull this guy away. We're just gonna we're gonna focus on the best strategy, which is what I like to call de delaying the inevitable. <laughs> can he do a better move than this? He can. It's weird because I just I, I don't feel like I have really the ability here to make them attack each other, but I may I may not be seeing it right. See, but the problem is like as I said, I haven't been killing any of them, so. All right. Well, luckily for me, they've decided to be stupid and do everything but attack what they're supposed to. So that makes things relatively simple, I think. Uh. So I think this one, no, we can't do that. No, it's gonna hurt the train. Okay, so I think the things you have to worry about is this one and that one, right? Uh, so we can't move him up. Actually, we can move him up by one tile. He's assuming he can get into position here. Okay, I think I got it. Unlimited fucking delay tactics. Oh wait, no. Okay, never mind. Fucking hell. What does this game think I am, a tactical genius? It worked good up until that point. Yeah, I just... Don't know what to do about this guy. Well, I can attack this. It will move him away. No, but it still hurts the fucking train. Fuck this train, honestly. This train can go suck it. <laughs> wait, wait, one sec. Can this hurt that guy? No, it's not gonna hurt him enough. Dude, I, I, I honestly, the other thing, the other funny thing is, I think, I honestly think this one threw me a bone because it, it made half of them not attack the proper things. Um, like I just, I have a bit of difficulty here figuring out what, um, uh, because this only moves by one tile, so you know, because I have a bit, I, I have a bit of difficulty positioning them into into areas where it would be useful for them to go. Like, like, there is absolutely fucking nothing that I can, like, well, I'm trying to move this guy around, right? Alright. I would like to focus on this guy right here, alright? I would like to get him into a position where... I actually no, because it doesn't work. Oh my god! <laughs> can, can we just end the fucking game? All right. I can toss this guy over here so he won't do anything. All right. Now I just have to worry about this guy. How do I make him not like kill ourselves? No, every time, every time, it's the fucking train always takes damage. Every time. 
It's just I need to do uh, this is guy is the problem. This guy's the problem if I can move either of them Because this guy doesn't go far enough uh, Can I move the train away? Does that even work? No, it doesn't because it says shielded. I've judged uh, the guy had to ask or right? if this guy can go jump over here, but it will kill the train. So jumping is out of the question. Um, I can just toss this guy, but if I toss him, it may open up some options for someone else to move in here or something. Because no matter where I attack here, you see, this one this one harms the building. So this is what I did last time, and I, I said I wasn't going to do it. Um... <laughs> I don't know what to do. If I was able to go here, I would most certainly be able to push, I would only be able to pull him one tile away. I, can't, I wouldn't be able to stop him. All right, you know what, let's do, let's try something else. Let's try getting this guy out of there. Cause I have, I have two pulls. It's not enough pulls though. Like if I, I just need to pull this guy out of the way and then this guy can come in there and do nothing I think so. Oh my god, the, here's the problem, I can't undo my move anymore. So yeah. So I can leap over there and do some stuff. See the, the, pro the problem is the eternal question of what do I do to this guy? Because I only have... how many tiles of movement is that? I don't know how to tell. Four. So, one, two, three, four. So, no matter what, one, two, three, four. He'd only be able to go here. This guy's blocking the other way. Oh my god, we're gonna just be spending forever fucking here. Oh, shit. Um, if only I could move him twice there. Okay, you know what? That might be the play, actually. No, you know what? I think we may have to just deal with that. Or... Is there a way... Okay, I, I just need a way of that guy taking just a little bit of damage. Without harming anything else. Is there any angle? Any angle at all that that would work from? I mean, I can jump over there, but that's, once again, I'm gonna kill everything. <laughs> Alright, I may have an idea. So, this guy's thing will pull him over and do one damage, right? Uh, and this thing will do one damage too. Wonder, can I do one damage like this? No, I can't. I think no matter what, I think this building has to take damage. And especially if, okay, listen, especially if this thing dies. If this thing dies, um, it's, you know what, we're doing this. It's unfortunate, and he actually died for that, because the thing went down. So it kind of worked out anyways, but we lost one power thing. Alright, well, we get to do whatever we want with this guy, so... Oh well, uh, all right, so I was trying to figure out a nice way of doing it where I wouldn't lose any power, but it looks like we lost power anyways. I wonder if the undoing would maybe, like if I got like, let's say a uh, energy, lucky, like, like attack miss sort of thing, could I undo it and maybe go for the RNG? Maybe you could. As it took a little bit of power grid damage, but I mean, that's life. All right, let's do this one. That took me a while, guys. I was thinking about it for so long. Uh, that's sometimes how things go. Actually, no, this guy can go a little bit further out. So here's the thing, we have a severe advantage in making these guys harm each other, right? So, like, this guy can easily harm the other guy. Well, this guy's just gonna die, so... Dispose of all mountains. All right. Do 
something like that. Okay. And we can use this thing to dispose of some mountains in the back here that we don't care about. We want them to kind of hit each other a little bit, you know? Aha. Uh -huh. Nice. Well, let's, uh, let's have a look here. Like I said once again, I would prefer it very much so. So if I do this, I mean, he's still not going to hurt that thing, so. I mean, judo throwing is like the best shit ever, honestly. <laughs> uh, fuck, man. I just want to fuck this thing up, honestly. It's, it's highly unfortunate that, yeah, he doesn't really do much. I would have wanted to move this guy around. You know, if I if I just stomp away, actually that's fucking. Actually, this is so bad. I can't I can't I can't stomp away unless I want to get hit by acid. Or maybe I can. No, I can't. Actually, I can. See what we can do. We can be baller, guys. You guys want to be baller, right? Uh. Actually, I don't know about this guy. Now I think about it. Yeah, actually, you know what? We may have made mistakes that we can easily fix through this stuff. There we go. Fuck! Alright, we I, I'm, not, I'm now a little bit more worried about this guy here. See I was gonna I was gonna pull this guy over here so he would hurt him. But uh it does not look like it's going to necessarily be a reality. Because I kinda wanna get rid of this thing. How much damage does he do? Way too fucking much, alright, is the answer. Alright, fuck this. Let's just do the actual, like, proper way of doing this. Let's just pull ourselves back a little bit. Might as well just deal with this, I guess. Alright. I would have wanted to push him back into that, but I don't think that's gonna happen either. All I can do is push him over here. It's not the worst thing in the world either. How do you dispose of mountains? Like, who, who the fuck just wakes up and decides to get rid of a mountain? A baller, that too. Alright. A couple mistakes here may have been made. I mean, the easiest thing to do would be get, to get rid of this thing. Okay, that's easy. Okay, I killed that one. Now we only have two to deal with. And we have uh, two actions here. What a coincidence. Alright, um... I think this guy's gonna have to judo him over. Uh, I can't quite bring that guy over. Uh, whatever, we can, just, we can just pull him over, I don't care. How much damage could he possibly do? Just one. I've taken worse. Like I said, like I said a lot of this I think I wanna, you know, want to make them hurt each other, but I'm having a little bit of difficulty doing that. It's mostly a me problem, I'd say. Why is this guy... Weapon damage against this unit is double yeah, that's fine. Actually, you know what, we can just... Wait, what am I doing? No, no, no. Yeah, I can do? I can just go say, hey, you get rid of that status effect. And now it's like we never even took damage. Alright. Well, we lost a couple regions. Destroy the spider leader. How's it? What the fuck is this guy? Throws out two to three spider eggs. Oh my god. I okay, we are we are ending this guy, alright? <laughs> I 
God, I, I don't know if I want to cluster them. I'm worried, man. No, go away. Oh my God, they already have spiders. No. All right, how do we end this guy? All right. Okay, yeah, let's 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 do something like fucking hell. All right. Okay, this is a good way of dealing with both these guys, all right? This other guy, we'll just do well, I want to knock him into the acid, okay? All right. That's how we're going to deal with this. We're just going to end this guy. I have dealt with this way too much. Oh my god, he did three this time. Mm. Why? What, what is this impenetrable wall of China that, that is going on here? I'm almost going to say fuck this guy. I'm thinking about it though. Uh, I mean, doing that would end him in one turn. These guys aren't going to do anything anyways. Alright, let's go for the approach of... Maybe not losing the fucking game, but we'll see. So I can stomp him, but he won't actually, he won't go away. So the safer bet would be actually just to deal with this guy first. But once again, I can't stompy stomp. Okay, but I can't get rid of this guy by making him come over. No, I can't get rid of him either. Alright, yeah, just fuck it. No, I actually just can't deal with that. Huh. Whatever. One building gets hurt, so what? It happens. There are casualties. In war and love. Do these spiders get 2 HP? There's no fucking way. Oh my god. Spiders are love. Spiders are life. And here's the problem, the eternal problem of nobody here does enough damage to just one-shot this guy. So what we'll probably do is we're going to just try and move him on top of that. Um, or just ignore him. I mean, that works too. How much uh, ability here do we have to harm each other? No. Ah, uh, fuck. Because I would have liked this boot push this guy back to tiles, but I, I don't have that. Every, every time there's some sort of, like, action I want to take in order to make this significantly easier, I just, I don't have any ability for that. I mean, they're twice as effective when they attack each other, but every time I, I, I just, I simply can't find a way to make them attack each other. So this guy is attacking that. I would like him to attack this tile, so it moves this guy back and moves this guy away. But I can't make him attack that tile, but I can if I move this guy around, one of these guys around. This guy in particular. Okay, so let's just assume these guys are dealt with, alright? So we need to deal with this guy. And there really isn't a good way of removing this guy from the equation. Unless I do something like this. No, that's going to kill the corporate building. <laughs> uh, too much damage. All right, all right, I think I have the plan. All right, so now we just we kind of just need to deal with this guy. So I was thinking of moving this guy here, right? I, I move him here with that guy, but I just need to deal with this guy somehow. I can't jump here; it'll kill the building. All right, you know what? One of these buildings is going down. Let's just accept this fact.
I have my turn reset still, so. That is gonna kill him. Fuck. Actually, we can still do this. It just occur to me. I was too hesitant to go all the way into this plan. There you go, so only one thing gets hit. That is probably the best I could do. Probably. Alright. Alright, well, fortunately they seem to be mostly focusing on everything literally but, but what I'm supposed to deal with here. Alright, so... Easy way of doing with this guy is just to push him back into me. What's this guy aiming for? That thing. Alright. Still, it's a pretty easy way of doing with this. Free me. Actually, let's undo that move for now. There you go. Oh, that guy's now doing that. Well, did I move him there, or was he there to begin with? I may not. I may just not have noticed him actually. Oh well. Another building lost. Good Samaritan. What the fuck? I gained nine reputation from a single island, even though I lost everything. Cool. Rewarded. <laughs> Unaffected by webbing and smoke. All right. That that one's actually not bad. Uh, heat converter. Freeze the tile in front of you and light the fire behind you. Okay. Well, let's do this one. Because we could use an extra uh, good person, particularly someone like the gravity mech, you know? Oh, actually, that's just, um. This is kind of the evasion, yeah. Spend reputation. We really want the cores, though, because the guy. One of my guys has the double move thing. Double shot. Which. I don't know who would even do that, honestly. Maybe this person deserves a double shot, because how would this guy... Oh, you can move him fr front and back. There you go. Ally immune. Ally still take no damage. And you can also move twice with the hydraulic legs. That one actually wouldn't be so bad. Alright, let's see what we got. Deals damage to two tiles, pushing one forwards and one back. Okay. Is this one. Powerful projectile causes damage to the shooter as well as the target. Alright. How's that powerful projectile? It does two damage. That's not, that's not that powerful. Uh, there's your tactical tactical airstrike burning mortar. Sets five tiles on fire, and you deal damage to yourself. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of leaning towards this one, and then getting power. I don't really want the rest of this. Holy shit. Wrong class? Oh. Do I not have a brute force mech? Oh shit. Uh, I didn't. I thought this guy was brute force. He's artillery. Uh, now I don't want this anymore. Actually, I think I sold, sold it for the same amount that I gained it for, so. Uh, it's all good. It's all good. All right, let's just let's just first focus on my abilities here. We're gonna do double shot again. All right, so we have that. We got three more points. So do I want this one? Because I currently have the other one, cluster uh, cluster artillery, which just would be very nice. Like I keep looking at these things, and I, and I want a lot of this. Plus one damage. Uh, that's kind of cool. I, I really should do that, but the thing is, I did not find a whole lot of opportunities to even use that to begin with, so... I don't know. Alright, you know what we're gonna do? <sighs> Let's just assume I'm gonna be a total badass and figure figure out how to make them damage themselves more often, but... I, I, I'm even admitting to myself I, I don't really want to be banking on that. I couldn't find a lot of opportunities for that. Uh, I'll try harder, though. Let's just go with that. Alright guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Goodbye.